back to our channel இந்த வீடியோக்குள்ள போ முன்னாடி நீங்க ஒன்னு நம்ம சேனல்ல சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணலாம் மறக்காம சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பண்ணிக்கோங்க வாங்க வீடியோக்குள்ள போலாம் back to our channel and this video we are going to solve the today's daily test so today's date is january 26 so you have been celebrating the republic day so i would like to wish you a happy republic day so now let's get started so the question is boy wall climbing so we must get a matrix of size r cross c which contains only zeros and ones so they are given that which contains only zero and ones as the input and they have given that each column in the matrix represents a wall where zero represent the empty space and one represents the brick okay and now a boy is standing on the first wall he can climb up or down one brick at a time or he can walk on the same level okay so they are given in mass a matrix uh, which contains only zeros and ones as the input and the zero represents the empty space and the one represents the brick so there is just a boy who is standing on the washed first wall he can either climb up or down one brick at a time or he can walk at the same level okay to stand on the wall the boy needs at least one empty space above the wall the program must print yes if he reached the last wall else we must print no as the output so this is the sample input you can check it out here so i'm going to solve this one using the python language okay so initially i'm going to create a function name can reach lost wall okay can reach lost wall so the values exist the matrix row and the column and now we must initialize the current reachable positions at the first column so for that the current positions will get in the set like that and now for i in range of r okay for i in range of r if the matrix cross 1 cross 0 is equal to 0 that is uh, the boy can stand here if it is a empty space then the in the current then the current position i uh, will get added with the i okay and now we must iterate through each column so for that for column in range of 1 comma c uh the next positions that is the another variable so the next positions will also get in a set like this and now uh for row in the current position uh, for row in the current position we must check if the boy can stay on the same level so for that the the matrix of row cross column is equal 0 in the next positions uh will get appended so next position will get added to the row here okay and now we must check if the boy can move up so for that <coughs> if row greater than 0 and the matrix of row minus 1 cross the column is equal 0 is equal 0 then the next two positions will get added to the row minus 1 here and now we must check if the boy can move down so for that if row less than r minus 1 and the matrix of row plus 1 cross the column is equal 0 then the next two positions will get added to the row plus 1 here okay and now we must update the current position for the next column so for that coming out of this for loop the current positions will be equal to the next positions so now if there are no reachable position we must return no so for that if not current positions we must return no as the output so coming out of this one we must return 
yes why we are returning here is if we have reachable position in the last column we must return yes okay so now get the input from the user so r comma c is equal to map of in comma input dot split now getting the matrix so list list of map of int comma input dot split and here for underscore in range of r and finally we are printing our function with the values the matrix and the row comma column here so now let me run our code and check for the output where i'm getting passed or not so we are getting a error here so 9 passed and 8 failed so let us check with that mm. Okay. Okay, let me check with that and get updated to you. So wait a minute. So I have found I don't I am not sure. So let me try by making it another way. So just removing uh these lines from the code. So till this current positions. So here what I'm going to do is uh, get the find the initial position on the first wall where the boy can stand up. So for that, R for R in range of R. This is the capital R. And if the matrix of R cross zero is equals one and R equals zero or the matrix of r minus 1 cross 0 is equals 0 so close to this so that is the r for r in range of r with the matrix of r cross 0 equals 1 and r is equal to 0 or the matrix of r minus 1 equals 0 so now here i'm going to give the conditions so for column in range of one comma c now the next two positions will be getting in a set here and for r in the current positions so current positions we must check up that is the r greater than 0 and the matrix of r minus 1 cross the column is equals 1 and r minus 1 equals 0 or the matrix of r minus 2 cross the column is equal 0 Okay, if this condition get passed, then the next positions, the next positions will get added with the R minus 1 here. Okay, R minus 1. And we must check down now. So, for that, if the R less than the R minus 1 and the matrix and the matrix of r plus 1 cross the column is equals 1 and the matrix and the matrix of r cross column equals 1 then the next positions will get added with the r plus 1 okay and we must check walk also now so for that if the matrix of r cross the column equals 1 then the next positions 
to get added with the or here okay and now the current positions and everything remains the same so now let us run the code and check for the output I'm still getting another error here so my input and my program output is slightly differs so let me check this so still getting the some other error so now we are going to i'm going to change it in another method so just i'm removing these things so or cross zero is equals one and this exists this remains the same and for raw air in all the this remains the same and matrix of is equal to one and after this doesn't require so one then the next position add r minus one okay and similarly here also after this and i think i don't require that so similarly everything remains the same so now let me run the code and check for the output so still i'm getting the error so i'm getting the another error now so let me check with that so this is the code which i have put and you can see that in my local this code has been successfully running you can see the same input here so the record output also i have got here so this is another input you can see this so this also i have got the same output i don't know why it's been happening in the skill rack so in this past few weeks so we have been trying more codes i think we have done daily code and daily tests so most of the errors which we've been facing due to some skill rack issues i don't know why so if this error occurs uh, we would like to share more videos using the visual studio code so i have been trying in this visual studio code so if you like this video please do like share subscribe and if any code exists please put in the comment section below and i will see into that and we will be seeing the next video thank you for watching this one